Toyota won the 2021 Le Mans 24 Hours, scoring a 1-2 finish for its new GR010 hybrid hypercar. It was a first success for Toyota's number 7 car, after enduring years of heartbreak. Having watched the sister car win the previous three editions, Finally, Mike Conway, Kamui Kobayashi and Jose Maria Lopez have a win of their own. The race got off to a hectic start in wet conditions. The number 7 car led but Sebastian Buemi in the number 8 Toyota was pushed into a spin at the Dunlop chicane by Olivier Pla's Glickenhaus. Alpine's Nicolas Lapierre chased the number 7 until a costly spin dropped it back. Toyota restored its 1-2 by one-third distance as night descended. More rainfall then caused absolute chaos in LMP2. The Alpine finished third, with Lapierre joined by André Negrau and Mathieu Baxabierre. Gleckenhaus finished 4th and 5th, as the new breed of hypercars demonstrated excellent reliability. In LMP2, Team WRT almost scored an amazing 1-2 on its Le Mans debut. But its number 41 entry broke down on the very last lap handing victory to the number 31 car crewed by Robin Freintz, Charles Malesi and Ferdinand Habsburg. The Juan Pablo Montoya-led Dragon Speed team won Pro-Am P2 class honours. Ferrari won a keenly contested GTE Pro class in a race started by its president, John Elkin. The number 51 488 of James Collado, Alessandro Pierre Guidi, and Com Ledegar took victory ahead of the impressive Corvette of Nicky Katzberg, Antonio Garcia, and Jordan Taylor. AF Corsa also won the GTE AM class for Ferrari with Nicholas Nielsen, Alessio Rivera, and Francois Perodo.